Te Wero, 2017, inspired Māori leadership in education. Tēnā uh, kia kaua e taia pa tia te reo ki o tātou kura anake, engari haere, fuatu, hariatu ki o tātou marae kāinga, mā reira te reo e, e tino o rai. Uh, ki ngā mana whenua, uh, ngā iwi o tūranga tēnā koutou, uh, ka moi a hauiti i a kahukuraiti, ka puta koe nei uh, e tuake nei. Uh, nō reira, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, kia ora everybody, my name is Victor Walker. I'm Wayne James Ngata. And I'm Maui Tangoho. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before we start our presentation, we'd just like to, to, for you to imagine that you're on our, our manu, um, Te Ngārangi and Haru Ngārangi. So jump onto their backs. We're going to take you for a bit of a journey. We have some highs, we have some lows, but we've definitely got the challenges that we're facing right now. So, hmm. um, Kia ora everybody, it's an honour to present to you all today. Um, and so our introduction for you, um, we're just going to briefly go through what our kōrero is going to be made up of. And um, the underlying, uh, the grounding kōrero will always be our pepeha, um, and that will be the thing that connects it to all the educational initiatives that we're going to talk about. And then we're going to look at the ngākura and the people that drive the foundation of this program. And um, lastly, we're going to talk about, um, we really do want to invest in the ahika and those who live in Uawa and the wider Tairawhiti, but there are people who live outside, um, and it's about strengthening connections with them as well. So we'll start right off at the beginning, Tero. Ana ka pepe hatia ko titi rangi te maunga ko uawa nui a rua matua te awa ko te rāwhioro te kura wānanga te kani a takirau te ariki ka mutu ko te aitanga hauiti tewin in the words of Mufasa to Simba Everything the light touches is our kingdom <laughs> And so what, what does that actually look like? Um, so at the core is the ahika, um, the people who, uh, who are at home, um, and surrounded, surrounding that, uh, excuse me, uh, Victor Walker. <laughs> surrounding that is our, our, our seven marae that are affiliated with Hauti. And then outside of that are the educational initiatives run by Te Aitanga Hauti for Te Aitanga Hauti about Te Aitanga Hauti. And these are, these are them. Um, quickly. Hands up those who believe they come from paradise. Be honest and be proud. Tikotonu, <laughs> because us three over here and them over there and over there, for, for now anyway, um, our paradise is Uawa. And the reason why we say it is, and why if you say otherwise you're at their door, is because we put in the effort so it becomes nothing less than paradise for us. And because when you have something awesome and you feel good about it, you want everything, everyone else to have it, otherwise you'll just be greedy. So we ensure that it remains paradise and nothing less, and hence, ana, ne. So the ahika can warm our paradise so it can still be a paradise. And some of those um, uh, education initiatives that Hine Tearuki was talking about, kei kona, ara i tētai ah, I me te whare tu taua, um, e piri atu ki te whare tu taua o te wiwi nāti, kanui ngā mehi. Um, 
ite raumati ku awataki tai tena and it's in the name but you don't need a bibliography to find out what it is tiaki tai hey and and these aren't things that just or well, some of them maybe hmm. these aren't just things that happen overnight and and they just drop from the sky it is hard work a lot of hard work we we're, we're only younger than 30 and we're tired <laughs> so there you go. So we 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 do we 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 work hard, and not only us three, other people too who are a bit older than thirty. But we put in the work, so it remains nothing less than a paradise. Kia ora tata. Um, so also we look at Te Atanga Hauti Kapahaka. We engage all all people from the ages of zero to when they're in the box, I suppose, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> And what our main purpose behind it is we want our stories to be told through mahi aringa, mahi haka and mahi waiata. So that's why it's so powerful, this model here. Um, and so to summarise that, um, <laughs> I suppose what we wanted to get across is that we truly believe that it takes a community and more importantly an iwi to raise a child. Um, and this is how Te Aitanga Hauiti are fulfilling those aspirations. Um, we're going to focus now on the kura that are situated um, in, in Uawa. Um, that one's still loading. All oh, right, anyway. Um, so we need, to, oh, it's fine. we need to acknowledge the schools and learning environments that we do have in, within our community, like Tolaga Barrier School, Kaukura Nui, and most importantly, our homes. So when we look at um, our local curriculums, our kids are immersed in everything that happens within our community. They learn from the beach, they learn from the rivers. Everything is relevant to our community. And this is what makes our, our younger people strong. <laughs> um, just going off on localised curriculums, sometimes we do not realise that is what we have actually done to our curriculum. Because, <laughs> 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 you know, we, we don't think of it as, as, as a something um, mm. to be done. We think of it as something we've always done. Hey, iata karakia, waiata, kerotana ngā kōrero, mai kona ka puta mai ngā momo akoranga, and to, you know, everything it can relate to. We've always done it, so I think we invented localised curriculum. Um, and and our last uh, point about this is um, communities of learning kahui ako is this new uh, framework and methodology for streamlining education, a student's pathway. Um, and it's also about collaboration and sharing data and information between in a community of schools. Um, and we feel like we had that uh, a long time ago and it was called Whakapau Pākehi. Um, and that was a collaboration, you know, and there's some people who went to Whakapau from other schools that are in this room today. Um, and that was uh, a connectedness through our whakapapa. And that was Hauiti and his two brothers, Taua and Mahaki, the schools that affiliate to those tipuna, and reinforcing those ties that bind us, um, that are still relevant today. And that was, you know, in very practical ways, you'd have a, you know, a week of Whakapau Pākehi, which were lots of different events, um, and, and then you would have Ngāti Awards, uh, Manu Kōrero, Kapahaka, all of those things that, um, you know, some people think are, you know, just a fun time, uh, but really are a learning experience as well. So we've talked about all of these marvellous things that are happening in Hawati, but in reality, they can't happen without um, the people, you know. Um, and so, yeah, Sharon, you want to come? Yeah. There are people that we need to acknowledge within our community because the, what's really strong about our community is that we, we come as one, we do things as one, and we try to be number one. <laughs> so... <laughs> There are some people, some people over here that we need to acknowledge. Can you just put your hand up over here, lovely people? <laughs> people over there and over here. And everywhere there is hauti tanga. So. 
Yeah, um, so that's, that's about having the right people in, in the right place at the right time. Um, and so that, that means um, a collaboration between the schools, uh, the kōhanga, the community and the iwi that help facilitate this successful environment for, for tamariki mokopuna so that young people know who they are, they know where they're from, they know that they're supported, they know when to ask for help, and that ultimately means that they know that they can succeed in this world. Uh, finally, our final point is um, making sure that uh, we have those connections with Te Aitanga Hauetu who aren't situated in the Rohe. Um, and so that's Te Aitanga Hauetu ki te ao. Um, and there are a couple initiatives here um, that Te is going to talk about. So how we take it out, it, uh, sometimes it makes us realise that um, Ua was not the only place in the world. How okay to us and that it will claim it, how we take it out. Um, but it's, um, yeah. <laughs> it gives us uh, a pathway to look at where we can succeed to. Um, you know, you can get there. And also, we can also learn from over there. For example, if you have a look at the, the middle use, yeah. if you people would like <laughs> to take a look <laughs> at the middle photo. Um, ko pai kia teko teko tera. And, and in all honesty, ko wai i roto nei i mōhio, ko pai kia teko teko tera. Mm. Ka we whakamaa mena kariko i te mōhio. I te mea te toko maha tonu kaori i mōhio ko pai kia teko teko tēnā mai te waiata ko pai kia tēnā there he is <laughs> and it took some of us to go over there to actually know oh we thought it was the one on top of Whangara well it was until, <laughs> until that one wasn't here anymore yeah so not only we can see where we can get to but we can also see what we can get from over there and bring it back over here kia ora tato. Um, and and these these um, international experiences don't happen also just in isolation. Um, they're a collaborative experience um, across you know wider wider the wider rohe. And so we have um, here uh, the Ngati Pro East Coast Remembrance Tour in Europe, and we also have I don't know if I can zoom out um, the Ngati Pro World Indigenous Games team that went over to Canada. Um, and these, these trips all happened just this year, and so there's been many more before this and hopefully many more after. Um, the last thing that we wanted to talk about is um, one of the great benefits of globalisation is digital um, and the internet. And one thing that we can help um, Te Tanga Hauiti learn um, and reconnect back home is online and, you know, Marais have their Facebook pages and stuff, but one thing we wanted to talk about was Hauiti Tangi Tiraro, and we can go to the link here, which is a YouTube platform. Um, and this is an online archive, online digital repository of Te Aitanga Hauiti Waiata Mō Te Ate and Haka, and it's short clips um, each song, see, I, I, I see my, my dad and my uncles and my aunties every year for every competition composing new song after new song after new song, and where does that go, you know? There's the quote um, by Tāpira Nangata, which goes, the time is long past when the heirlooms and traditions of Māori culture be can be hidden in the memories of a fond few or in laboriously compiled manuscripts dedicated to descendants who may never prize them. They can be lost and forgotten, and they should not be. So you and I and others should have them kept that those who care may read and learn. And that is what we're trying to personify here. Um, and so it's anybody can access it anytime, anywhere in the world. And that's how you can learn more about being hawiti. And I mean, they use it in, in our classes, in the classrooms at school, so it's a part of the curriculum. But also, you know, Shannon was talking about tiungarangi and harungarangi. If you want to look up rua kapanga, you can search, and then you find the songs that have been written about it. 
You look up the tohunga, the last tohunga of Te Rāwhiro, you can look up Rangiwea, and we're lucky that we have all seven verses of his Waiatatangi that tell, you know, the origins of man, <laughs> according to Te Rāwhiro. You know, the, um, the creation of art, you know, all of those things, all of those things that are a part of a framework um, of understanding that is very much still alive um, in our iwi, I believe. And so there's the playlist there. Um, I think it's been viewed about 400 times, could be a bit more, <laughs> I, in my opinion. Um, and so, yeah, so that's how iti tangi te raro. And I, 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 that's a wero that I, I would put out to all iwi, you know, is not to reserve our taonga for stage or for, for just a few people, but to make it accessible to anybody so that we can all learn these waiata um, and that we can all celebrate this shared history and this connectedness that we, that we have. Kapai. So, I think we've driven it home enough. Um, and so our conclusion is, kia titirangi te, te taumata, kia ua wanui te whai. Um, and these are our three Cs. Um, who was talking about connect? Yeah, you can talk about it. <laughs> connect, self-explanatory. Connect. Kawa ma te kotahi, ma te mano tonu. It takes a community as much as a iwi to raise a person. Connect people, connect. I think it's also connect to your whakapapa and connect to your kōrero te kuiho. Um, and that's, you know, strengthens your identity. So I'm talking about collaboration. If we all work together and if we share the same vision and we head in the right direction, <coughs> anything is possible and anything is achievable. So work as a team, Fano. I know we can all work together. Kapai, just, just looking at the acronym team, T for together, E, everyone, A, achieves, and M, more. So together, everyone achieves more. Kapai, I'm just going to leave you with those words. <laughs> and the last one is to create, be innovative, um, and to harness these, these new technologies that we have, just like our tipuna did in their times, um, and to do that in, in the modern world that we live in today, mm -hmm. um, as relevant learning experiences for all. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora mai tātou katoa.